Hi, it's Mike again. Welcome to my shop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make three different everyday carry items. I have some leftover round stock here. This is half an inch round stock. I have some aluminum, I have some brass, and I have some copper. And what I'll show you how to do is make some everyday carry items that uh, you can keep in your pocket and put stuff in. So two of them will be what I call a pocket stash. So you can put like toothpicks, um, roll up some money, or stash whatever you want in your pocket neatly and discreetly. And the other one out of copper, I'll make a multi-tool bit holder how to that and I'll show you the whole steps on how I make it and what tools I use and the process how I make these three items. These things actually make really good gifts as well and we're at that time of year when we're trying to figure out what to uh, buy for people and what to make for people and if you have people in your life like my father always says ah oh, don't get me anything I don't want anything um, he always does appreciate when I make him a nice handmade gift. So stay tuned and I'll show you how everything goes together and the parts I used and the sequence of events to build it and perhaps make something like this as well for yourself. So with the aluminum, we'll probably turn this down. This is a half an inch and we'll put a brass cap on it as well. So that looks pretty cool. And I'll make it big enough so a piece of toothpick can go in there like that and kind of stick out and the brass cap will go in there. So that will be that brass one. But what I'll do is I'll make it totally um, a cylinder and it'll have a hidden seam on it. So you can't tell where it actually is to open up. So that would be really cool. And with this copper here, I think what we'll do is we will use this kind of multi-tool holder and we will drill it in. We'll cut this off, we'll, we'll press that into there. And then we'll take maybe three or four of the most used bits here and we'll hollow out um, the inside of that and we'll put a little screw in cap as well. So this will be kind of a neat little multi-tool holder. All we really need is, is a tap and die. So what I have is a 7 16 uh, normally fine. So it's a 7 16 by 20 threads per inch. And we have a 25 64 drill bit and a center drill bit. And that's pretty much all you need. And well, of course you need a, a, a caliper for some measuring. You probably end up needing a die holder as well. So it's a very simple project, simple lathe projects, but uh, it turns out to be a really neat little gift. So let's go over to the lathe and we'll start with the aluminum aluminum piece. The half an inch aluminum round and what we'll do is we'll face the side off here. We'll do a center drill and we'll bore it all the way out um, to about the same depth of a toothpick. So we did a center drill there. We'll take that out and now I'm going to go in with a quarter inch drill bit and we'll hog most of it out here. And what we want to do is go deep enough so the toothpick actually hangs out a bit. So here's a standard toothpick, which is pretty much the same width as, as a dollar bill or some money. And so what we'll do is we will make sure that we don't go too deep in here. And we want the toothpick to stick out a little bit. So there you go, it's all hollowed out. We're gonna take our 7 16 by 20 tap and we'll thread that in to probably about a half an inch deep and then we can make our brass cap for that. Okay, so we have it in our slowest setting there and we'll put some cutting fluid on that. And we'll go really slow. We'll stop. So we'll reverse it and we'll go up. And there we go, we got some threaded in there. This, so the body's almost done, so we'll figure out how deep it is and then we will surface off that and we'll go ahead and make the cap. So what we'll do is we'll figure out how deep this goes so we know exactly where to face off. So the neat thing about these calipers, they have a little thing that pops out the back here. So you can just push that in. We'll lock it. And now you can go over on this side and you can see where this goes. Right there. So what we'll do is we'll go into the lathe and we will just part that section off and it'll be the right size. And then the next part here would be, we'll turn this down for a cap. So I parted this off and off and what I'm gonna do is I think we'll make a nice rounded, uh, like a bevel on it. We'll, we won't do it perfectly perpendicular, 90 degrees. We'll put a nice kind of taper in it so it feels good on your fingers. Nice 
nice little shallow peak to that. Well, it occurred to me that this is too small. I just can't hold it and tap it as well. So I pulled out the bigger stock. So what I'll do is I'll fire this all the way in and we will machine what we need and then we'll just part off what they would like to use this little piece, but I guess it's not gonna happen. Perfect, so that's exactly 7 16 Put a little bevel on the end so the die will start nicely. I made this extra long and I secured it into the chuck here in the tail piece. And so what we're going to do is crank that on really tight and we will put the die in the jaws of the chuck here. Now the proper way to do it is actually have a proper die holder that goes in the tail end there and you can actually tap it, but I don't have that. So this for me is the next best thing. So it actually aligns perfectly. So what we'll do is we'll put it to our slowest setting here and we'll have our finger on the stop button. And if we have any issues, then we will actually just stop it. Reverse it. So it didn't really go right to the end here. There's a little bit of a lip, but that's okay. What we'll do is we'll mount this into my vise and we'll use my um, die holder and we will finish it off with uh, by using our hand so we can sense how much pressure we need to put on. So let's go over to the vise and finish off that. We put the die into the die holder and we will start this. And we'll put See anything about the lathe starting it off, it makes it perfectly straight. And since the threads are already started, we can just put it into the die holder and know that it's gonna, it's gonna continue to be straight. So there we go, we bottomed out and it is nice. What I think I might wanna do is actually hollow this out a little bit. That'll look pretty cool to kind of lighten it up a bit. But the um, cap's almost done. A little bit of a seam there, so I suspect that the, the aluminum is still a little bit off, so we'll have to face that a little bit. So what I did was I hollowed up the cap a bit using 5 16 drill bit, and I went in about a half an inch. We'll finish off the cap, we'll part that piece off, and we'll put the body in, and we'll assemble the cap, and we'll do all the polishing, and it's almost done. But ever so lightly. We'll make this file nice and clean, get off all the metal shavings and we'll make some light passes on that and we'll gradually go up to some emery cloth and we'll go to some steel wool and then we'll polish it up with some mag polish. So now that we've done some triple O Steel wool on that, we'll use some mother's mag polish and we'll polish this up really nice to a nice luster. So there you go, what I like to call a pocket stash. The first one all done, nicely polished. I really like the difference between the aluminum and the brass, kind of really sets it off. And off camera, I ended up doing the brass one, completely out of brass. This one's a little bit shorter. And we nicely faced off the ends here. And we polish this up really good. And, you, and the seam is pretty much hidden. You just hard, have a hard time finding the seam of that. And when you unscrew it, there you go. You can carry whatever you want. So in order to hide the seam, what you do is you face these off really good. Undercut them just a little bit. Put it together really, really tight in the lathe screw it on in the lathe and just make ever so fine passes across. And then you go to your emery cloth, your steel wool, and you polish it up with the mag polish and it comes up virtually seamless. Now this thing over time will get a nice patina to it and uh, wear pretty cool. So eventually you might see the same, but you could always go back and polish it back up again. And then with the piece of copper, we made a bit holder. So basically we took that bit holder I showed you before, we cut off the end and we drilled a hole and we press fit it in. We did a little knurl right here, polished this up and in the back there's a cap as well and it holds the bits. So there you go. 
So machining copper was quite interesting. It tended to get really hot and gall up a bit. So if you take your time and use lots of lubricant, you should be okay. So there you go. Three everyday carry items that you made yourself on your lathe and that makes a great gift. Well, if you like this sort of project, I have another video on how to make an everyday carry pen. So have a look at that video. It's pretty much a similar video. You can make an everyday carry pen out of metal and that also makes a good gift as well. I hope this inspires you to build something in your shop. And once again, thanks for watching.